So today on the Cybergenics Total Body Building Workout, we are doing days two. This is supposed to be days two and five, and this is chest and back. Now, I wanna remind you that this workout is supposed to be done fasted, like 12 to 13 hours of fasting. I am not fasted because I'm not wanting to die. Now, 15-year-old me followed this thing to the T. That book was golden, and I did that. I went to the gym at 6 a.m. and did that workout fasted, and it was really hard. Anyway, I'm doing two cycles for chest and two cycles for back. This first one is supposed to be, first cycle is supposed to be repeated four times, and it's dumbbell flies at 80% max to positive and negative failure. Then you drop set dumbbell flies at 50% of what you were just using to positive and negative failure. You then roll over to the bench press, and I'm gonna do sit, that's supposed to be at 60, 70% of my max positive and negative failure. And then I'm supposed to flex for 30 seconds. <laughs> so you tell me how hard that's gonna be. And I'm supposed to repeat that cycle four times. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Brittany, that is filming right now, will be spotting me on the bench press. And if you've ever gone to positive failure on something, which means pushing to you can't push anymore, that's hard. And then negative failure is just basically you can't even control the weight on the downward portion of it, which is kind of dangerous. On dumbbell flies, that's something I'm gonna do because dumbbell flies, I'm gonna go as much as I can and then drop them and get out from underneath it. On bench press, she's gonna spot me and I'm gonna probably do a couple negatives and then roll out from underneath it. This workout is based on intensity and how hard you're willing to push yourself is what it's all about and it taught me a lot. So let's quit talking and let's work out. I'm not gonna do every cycle on film here. I'm gonna do the first one and then we'll probably fast forward to like the next to last one and this lets you see the progress of pain that I'm going through here. But this workout works, I can't wait to get it going. So here we go. I have picked 35 pound dumbbells and I don't, you know, I don't know what my max would have been on flies because I've never been like, hey, let's max out our dumbbell flies today, you know. I do know that starting with them to go to positive and negative failure is quite a lot. The whole point of this is wearing my chest out and burning it up, which will probably happen pretty quick on this. Okay, we're getting, we're gonna count that as positive and we'll give it a negative. And a negative should be something lowered, slower, slow, slow. I'm gonna press them up and get one more. Drop set into 20s. This shouldn't take long. All flies are all about lowering it slowly, getting a good stretch, and then pulling through that stretch. Arching your back up. Oh yeah, there we go, there's that burn. Oh. Here we go, negative. One more negative. Let's go to the bench press. I got 135 on here. Like, I know that's probably not any kind of math on like what my max is, but the point here is fatigue. So I haven't been bench pressing at all in my workouts. I could probably have gone heavier, but I think I'm gonna get to the same result. You ready to deadlift this, Brittany? Yes. Ah, okay, one more for positive failure. All right. All right, here we go, two negatives. Get ready to pull it off. Go. One more. Oh, God. Come on. Ah, Come on. Get it. Up, up, up. Oh, oh that was easy. Oh. Oh, now, I'm supposed to flex for 30 seconds. Oh. Oh, wow. I don't know how that's gonna work. Oh.
So it's the last set, fourth cycle on this. And I can tell you right now, this one is not gonna last that long because the last bench press, I got like three reps before I died, like literally died. And uh, Brittany had to deadlift it off my chest. So I've got one more cycle of these and my chest is on fire. It's burning so much. I'm not used to these kind of, I do supersets, but nothing like this. This chest workout does not play. This workout really taught me a lot about intensity and how hard you had to push yourself to get any kind of gains in the gym. How are you feeling, G? Oh, I'm, I'm hurting. This is hard. But it's a great pump. I'm getting a better pump off this than I have in any stuff I've done lately. Oh. Wow. Okay, that's positive failure. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, as light as these look, they do not feel like it right now. Oh, this feels so heavy. Oh, whew. wow. That's negative. My left pec feels like it's about to cramp like we in a weird spot, like up in my upper pec. One more. Okay. Let's see how successful this bench press is gonna be. This ain't gonna last long. Heard that before. Oh, yep. Yeah. Feels like I'm repping out like 300. When I was only like five, so. Uh, one more positive. Come on. Uh, uh, Do you want me to get it or not? Yep, here it goes, negative. Come on. All right. Grab it. Oh. Oh, one more. I don't know. Lower it. Okay. Get it. Get it. God. Uh, that was like, that was like totally all me. I totally did all of that. And then flex for 30 seconds, like, oh. Until, uh, Cramp city, buddy. Oh, are you trying to outflex me from back I there? Just, look, they just like came out of nowhere because I did your workout. Uh. <laughs> Boobies. Now we're on to cycle two of days two and five, the chest. So cycle two is repeat two times, no rest between each set of cycle, just like the last one. Incline press 90% max, positive negative failure. Drop the weight to 50% of that to positive negative failure and then dips without added weight, positive negative failure. And I guess on dips, I'll just like dips and then stand up and then lower myself down a couple times. So anyway, let's get to it. I don't suspect this is gonna last that long. I don't ever do incline dumb barbell press anymore. Oh, I just don't like it. Not that it doesn't work, but it's just hard, I guess. I guess I'm just wimping. Okay. Come on. Ah, here we go. Two negatives. Let's just get two. Okay, here's my workout. Go. Ah, one more. Come on. Negative needs to be lowered slowly. <laughs> Whoa. In the f All right, strip All right. the weight. Now, the thing is, is you would normally, if you had it in you, continue to lower that weight until negative failure technically means that I'm like unable to even lower the weight with any kind of control. That's, and I'll do that sometimes on some things, but like one set, not, not four, but hey, that's why this workout works so well is because it got you out of your box and made you work harder than you never lifted. All right. Ah. All right. One more. I may not be able to control it. Ah. Yep, there it was. That was that. That was true negative failure. I did not lower that correctly. I'm gonna get so many dips. So many dips. <laughs> no, I'm not. 
Nothing more sure. Oh my God. Okay, I got one dip. Here's the, <laughs> here's the negatives. Oh, come on. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. Oh. <sighs> All right, one more negative. Holy crap. Oh. Okay, and then you're supposed to flex for 30 flex. seconds. Come on. Oh, there's no flex, it's come just. On. Goonie style, goonie style. <laughs> oh, anyway. You're supposed to only rest long enough that it takes your partner to complete his set. But there's no partner, so I'm just gonna rest like a minute or so and then go do it again. Second cycle on this, last chest cycle, and I'm already feeling toast on my chest, but let's see how this goes. Hey, what did you drop on your chest? What, what are you talking about? Okay, it's, it's, it's lipstick, right? Oh yeah. I'll try not to drop the bar on my chest so hard. Apparently I was being a little too abusive. That's, about, that's the intensity. That's what it takes. You intense? I'm so intense. <laughs> Apparently I'm using my chest as a trampoline over here. <sighs> like, I think that's gonna like leave a mark. <sighs> yeah. Come on. Ah, oh, crap. Negative. Get it. For the chest. <sighs> oh. All right, drop it. <sighs> now I know where I got it. it. Was on this part last time. Oh yeah. Maybe. <sighs> Spot. <sighs> Negative. Yeah, you can just stay there. You can just stay under it. <laughs> so where the lipstick? Here we go. And grab it. Come on. Oh. All right. Let's go. Dips. All right, so I got like one on the last one. Let's see if we can beat that this time. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, holy crap. Oh, okay. Negative. One more. Oh. Are you swimming? Yeah. Oh, Come God. on, flex. Like, oh, hold it. Oh, that's what that red mark is. It's my pecs popping out of that oh, yeah. thing up there. Mm, oh, that's healthy. Oh, crap. Yeah, well, that's effective. That works. Now we're on to the back cycle. It's cycle three. This is just a bunch of lat pull downs. It's uh, lat pull down, shoulder width, grip, 95% max, positive, negative failure, which probably shouldn't take long. Go to lat pull downs, close grip, 50% of above weight positive negative failure and then you drop that 50% lat pull downs close grip 50% positive negative failure in my gym I've only got plate loaded lat pull down machines so you can use a cable any lat pull down any kind of pull down machine you can use but on a, the close grip because there's no close grip on this I'm going to move to the Star Trek close grip uh, plate loaded pull down on this so this cycle is supposed to be done for six times and i'm not going to make you watch me but i'm not going to rest much in between these so you're going to get to see cycle one and cycle six six times through that so i'm looking at hundreds of reps here on back for just incline for just lat pull down so uh, let's not waste any time am i gonna have to hold this for six times you're gonna no you're gonna have to hold me up after we get done here is what you're gonna have to hold i'm gonna face backwards on this machine because i'm pulling straight down into it and so Yep, that's about 90, 95% right there. Here we go. And I'll get negative. Oh. That wasn't much of a negative. I'll strip the weight. I remember doing this back part portion of it whenever I was first doing this when I was 15. And at the time when I went into the gym, my back work consisted of, I would do three sets of lat pull downs, three sets of seated rows on this weird pulley that was on the ground. And that was it. I did that once a week. <sighs> yes, this is a retro workout, but it's based off a lot of old training styles. So we were done <sighs> And then we're going to close grip, pull down right here. No, my dumbbells weren't leather. When did they make the first dumbbells? Oh, they, 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 they were circus dumbbells. What are you talking about? 
Uh, and I wore a loincloth while I worked out. <sighs> Crap. It's like I want to get on top of it or something. <sighs> oh. It's Dude. One. I'm going to do like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rest like a minute and I'm going to do it again. But you aren't going to have to watch all of it. You get to watch it on fast forward. So here we go. So this is my sixth round of this cycle. And like at this point, the past two, three sets through this has been complete garbage, just trash, you know, cause I'm not getting any reps from it. But I do see that if you were to do this workout for like, after a, you know, a couple of weeks, you would get better at it and get more endurance out of it and everything. But I'm getting a pump like nothing else. Like I'm not used to doing this, like especially doing supersets with back stuff. You know, I might superset into a bicep, I do a lot of chest superset stuff, but dude, my lats are, are swollen. At least they feel swollen. I'm sure they don't look it, but anyway, this is my last set of these. You did this without eating? Like I, yeah, I, I, I would, yeah, I would, go, I would roll into the gym at 6 a.m. In, in, in the country in a gym with no air conditioning and a box fan. They didn't have cables. They had chain drives on them. So this stuff is fancy. Yeah, I am. I'm dying. Come on, let's go. Sixth, sixth round. Sixth cycle. Sounds like you've had it worse. Ooh. I ate this more than I thought. That's why I stole it. Well, come on. All right, let me strip it one more time through this. We still got to do five rounds of soup of seated rows. Like, like after your third round of those, it's just gonna look like you're starting a lawnmower or something. I mean, I don't even know how that's you're going. Just moving at that point. Yeah, you're just moving your arms. You know, it, the thing is, is on this stuff, you can tailor your weight. Like if you have to superset and draw and continually make, I would recommend keeping the heavy, the top end weight heavy, so you don't have to do it a bunch. And then the weights that come after that, that you superset, like, you know, take them down. Like, this is six rounds. I could probably take that down to a 25 on each side and be fine with that. Like, I started out super setting this to like 100, 110, and now I'm down to like 70 pounds. I mean, I can do them, but it's like my brain's just like, no, you're done. That's so enough. This is like the back in the day type of video. You know, like back in my day. Oh, whatever. I'm in my prime. Anyway, that's six rounds through this thing, six cycles through this back workout, and now we got one, one block left, one, one cycle left of seated rows. It's all seated rows, so let's get set up for that. We are on cycle four of days two and five, chest and back, and so now I'm on the seated cable rows. After doing six rounds of lat pull downs over there, six, I'm on to Repeat five times, no rest between each set of cycle. Seated cable rows, 90% max, positive negative failures. Seated cable rows at 50% of above, positive negative failure, and then you drop it in half again to, to positive negative failure. So you're just basically doing three drop sets on a seated cable row. And I've set that up right here because this is what my gym has for seated cable rows. Here we go, you're gonna get to see set one and five of this. And I will just be honest with you, I'm pretty trash. Like this first round is gonna go okay, but I am so just fatigued from it, you know? And I got a great pump from it, you know? So this workout is, is definitely geared toward help teaching you how hard you can push yourself. Cause those of us that are used to doing, you know, three sets at three, four sets of eight or 10 and stopping before you've reached failure, this will definitely push the threshold on what you can handle and teach you how hard you can push because most of us don't push ourselves hard enough 
when it comes to the gym and lifting weights, and that's why you're not getting any kind of gains from it. And I see I should have gone heavier because I'm doing way too many freaking reps of this. Good range of motion. That should help torch it off. And, and you know, as far as negative failure, I don't, I, I don't even, what do I even do with negative failure on this? You know, like you just, I guess I, I, don't, I don't understand like lowering it. I guess you just do this to your arms fall off. I'm gonna drop it about 40% of that because that was kind of light. And just really focused on driving my elbows down and keeping my chest up. Okay, that's, that's starting to burn pretty bad. Strangely enough in my front delts, what's that? So can you tell us stories of the olden days of working out? What are we talking Some about? I'm like, I feel like this is... Uh, I'm like 25, can you tell? It's just you know, hard living. Obviously. Oh, okay. Now I'm, I'm, I'm remembering the positive, the negative failure on it. Oh, like I'm just gonna be like, arms flapping in the wind at this point. Like, they're just. <laughs> so like, what's the deal with your face? What well, I'm talking about. So did you teach like group fitness back in the like Stone Age with leather dumbbells? Or how did that go? We picked up logs on the Parthenon. Hey, they're doing it again. Oh, that's it. Oh, so that's cycle one of this. We got four more left. I'll see you in a minute. More specifically, my rear delts and like, for some reason, I think I did so much chest and so many dumbbell flies that my, this is burning my front delts, which I know that didn't make any sense, but dang, my arms are pumped, pumped. Like, I know they don't look big, but I feel, I feel swollen from it for one thing. But I got one set left. This is my fifth run through this cycle and that's gonna be it for today, thank goodness. So I'm gonna get after it. I don't know how long it's gonna last, just like the other stuff. By the time I get to this point, you just feel you're just it's just garbage, you know? So I just try to get as good a form as I can and I have altered the weights. I've kept the heavy end of it on the front part because I'm still getting seven, eight reps out of it. And that way I don't have to do, you know, a bunch of reps, because at this point I've done a bunch of reps and I want to, I'm just trying to wear it out. So I'm really giving myself hit something heavy to pull on. I'm like trying to keep on my form. And I don't even understand what a negative would be on this because it all feels like a negative to me. Maybe it's a negative feeling. You could be right. Like music? Oh, it produces the psych, like, like, like the actual notes inside the handbook say that, that you might want to listen to music to enhance the psych that gives you short bursts of adrenaline. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's, good, uh, that's good tips right there. This explains uh, a lot, like this manual has... But I've been, I've been a personal trainer for 26 yeah. years and honestly this, this workout this whole thing I did whenever I was younger, it shaped everything and I pull, that's it, I'm done. I still pull things from this workout all the time and it also gives me a watermark by what kind of intensity that you should push people. Now, not everybody. You know, if you're training Noni and she's 80, you can't you train, train her that hard, but it gives you a benchmark by how hard that person can push instead of just going by, opening up a magazine and being like, oh, I do bench press three sets of eight and then move on. You know, learning to push yourself to positive failure where you can't do it anymore 
And then even negative failure, which I wouldn't recommend all the time, is just shows you what you're made of and shows you what you can actually get out of your workout. You can always push yourself a little bit harder, but that is the chest and back day two and five of this. And like the thing is, like I just said, you would do this again in a few days. You would do this same workout again. You know, each body part's twice a week from this. And this workout took me like an hour and a half to go through this. And I, was not, I wasn't resting very much, you know, but anyway, there's more to come. Stick with me. I'll see you soon.